by what Satan tells me, I'm a child of God. Amen. Even though what I tell myself sometimes, I'm still a child of God. Amen. Even when somebody tells me something, I'm still a child of God. Even when I feel bad and I fall on my face, I'm still a child of God. Because positionally, God sees me as holy. Okay, the first thing, how to rekindle your passion for sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. How do you rekindle that? We, it, it, Paul says this, though I am free from be, and belong to no man, I make myself, you want to underline that, I make myself a slave to everyone. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I owe no man nothing. I'm sold out to Christ. But I make myself a slave to everyone. Mercy. I will do whatever possible, whatever it takes to share the gospel with someone. I will even debase myself. So, by being more concerned for others than your own personal liberty. Mercy. Mercy. Others come more important to you than your own personal liberty. Things that you can do if you want to. You can go to a ball game, you can go to the movies, you can uh, uh, not go to church, you can do all those things because salvation is based on faith, not works. Mercy. But Paul said, I'm more concerned about other people than my own personal liberty. If it, if it means me giving up my time for someone else, I will do it. If it means me not watching a football game today and going to visit someone, I will do that. That's how you rekindle your passion by being more concerned for others than for your own personal liberty. Secondly, if you want to renew your passion for this year to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, it's by keeping your eye on the prize. By keeping your eye. Now, what is the prize? What is the prize that you're looking for? Listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 23. I do all this, Paul says, for the gospel's sake, that I may be a fellow part, partaker or partner. That is the prize, is to be a fellow partner. And that's what I do, keep my eye on the prize, that there's more to this life than just me living, that when I bring others to Christ, that we will all be in one big family. My brothers and my sisters and my cousins and my friends, that's the prize I'm looking for, that one day we all hold hand in heaven. And give honor to God. Mercy. Yeah. That's the prize I'm looking for. If I, if I think about that constantly and think about, you know, someone being saved and the angels in heaven rejoice, that will rekindle my passion. Paul says this about the prize. He said, let no one defraud you of your prize, delighting in self-abasement and worship of anger, taking this stand and on visions he has seen, inflated without cause by his fleshly mind. In other words, your prize should not be, should not be uh, taken away from you. You always keep your eye on the prize. What's the prize? The prize is men and women saving in heaven, enjoying the fruits of Christ. Third, to rekindle our passion to preach the gospel. And see, Unfortunately, people have a passion to come to church. And when the music is played, they have a passion to praise the Lord. Amen. And those things are good. Mercy. But do you have a passion to share the gospel with someone? Amen. That's what God tells us to do. He said, go, go, go. Mercy. Thirdly, how do I keep my passion going by sharing the word? Is by... Seeking and praying for illumination. 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 That's a three-letter word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Illumination. Illumination. Illumination is shedding God light on your purpose. We have what we call uh, observation, observation, interpretation, application. Then we have revelation, inspiration, and illumination. <clears throat> revelation in a scriptural sense is getting something new that hasn't been revealed before. Inspiration, is, in a scripture sense, is writing down the revelation in the Bible. The illumination is reading what was revealed and what was written 
so you can see. Now, you and I don't have revelations, because revelations, we don't get anything new. Uh, the Bible is complete. We don't have an inspiration in, in the scripture sense because we weren't inspired to write the revelation. The authors of the Bible's word. So they, the Bible is the inspired word of God. But we have illumination. That is, when we see the word that was written and inspired, that was revealed, it becomes light to us. And so I pray that God would show me my purpose. And the last one that, that will help me rekindle, kindle, to restart, to jumpstart my stall passion uh, is by fearing God's disapproval. By fearing. Now, that's something that I don't want to dwell on this too long because no one uh, uh, wants to hear uh, 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 get thee behind me or, or I knew you not or something like that. We all want to hear God's approval. But one thing should increase your passion is, is have a, a, a healthy fear of being disapproved by God. Now, I, I, I don't want to dwell on that, but that's a possibility. <laughs> Listen to what Paul says. In, uh, now, I'm not talking about salvation. I'm talking about behavior. Your salvation is secure. But with God rejecting your behavior, God saying, my goodness, how could he mess up? And God just, you know, the Bible says, don't, don't, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. And so God is grieving. So fearing God's disapproval. Paul says this in reference to passion and, and stand on target. He said, but I discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I, may, I myself will not be disqualified that I will not get God's disapproval. Now, he wasn't talking about losing his salvation. He was talking about God just saying, Paul, how could you do that? Or why did you do that? And God was sad. So Paul did not want to hear God's disapproval. Amen. Disapproval could mean that God just said, okay, you go ahead by yourself, or you just, I'll just use somebody else. Disapproval is the way that when Mordecai said, Esther, Esther, if you don't go, God will choose someone else. Amen. Disapproval when God said, you go ahead and just continue in church like you've been doing. You, you don't have me with you, but just go ahead. And you're just going through your motions, and God is not there at all. Amen. 